Thank you, Mike. The federal government has outlined plans to improve cargo evacuation from the Lagos Seaport Corridor. The Nigerian Shippers Council says the steps adopted include short, medium and long-term measures targeted at tackling gridlock and other problems impeding trade at the nation's ports. TVC News correspondent Ifonaya Eze reports. The event is the Nigerian Shippers Council Appreciation Ceremony an occasion to acknowledge the contribution of maritime sector operators in the country. It was also an opportunity for members of the private sector and government representatives to deliberate on the nation's poor transport connectivity. Transportation is the cornerstone of civilization and development. It creates linkages between people, places, and spaces. It opens up economic spaces, corridors, and opportunities. This sector is confronted by many, many challenges. Security and safety, poor infrastructure, lack of intermodality of our transport systems. There are indications that the persisting gridlock that continue to compound the problems of cargo evacuation in the Lagos seaports are being tackled. The shipping companies will not charge damage for about three months. Um, the truckers will lower their cost from the astronomical cost they are having now to lower cost of between 30 to 40,000. Um, the MPA, Nigerian Post Authority, will also review their holding bay policy. Um, the tax force which has been uh, headed by the Navy is also up um, looking at various ways of looking at these things. It is believed that the speedy passage of the National Transport Commission bill into law would fast track the development of an efficient intermodal transport system. Transport drives the economy. We need to have modern transport infrastructure. The whole thing about NTC is to bring the private sector. And that's why the NTC is not even, you know, the kernel of Trans, uh, transformation in transportation lies on ports and harbor bill. It lies on Nigerian railway uh, bill. It lies on newer bill. You know, these bills all are speaking with NTC. It has to be everybody's efforts. The transporter, the shipper, the regulators, the transport ministry, even uh, uh, ministry of works the railway, everybody is involved. In fact, you and I, we are also being affected. There have been complaints that doing business in Nigeria's ports has been challenging and costly. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.